actually started to benefit from the program. The NVQ and CVQ programs come as Rayside is looking to enhance its services. The company is working with the Barbados Employers Confederation, which has teamed up with the Technical Vocational Education and Training Council to give employees the chance to upgrade their skills. In terms of improving our performance as a company, that was the bottom line, improving the competence of each employee within the company. So it's the, as well as the whole question of um, capacity building, because we believe that this particular type of training will build the capacity of each employee, and once each employee improves in their performance, the company will improve. So therefore, that was the, the driving force for the particular project. Mr. Hayward pointed out the areas of training that will be done. Over the next two years, employees from every department of RSA will be involved in management training as well as in occupational safety and health training. Management training because every project that RSA goes on is project based. And hence, each employee, whether they're an engineer, a manager, or a mason, work as a team to be able to execute that project and execute it proficiently. Some of the people taking part in the courses told CBC News how they are being helpful. They deal directly with a lot of customers, so in time management and the skills learned dealing with customers and planning effectively and setting goals to both uh, help my customer and help myself, I think that has been helpful. For sure, um, it's, um, it's different. Um, as opposed to having the, the lot of paperwork that is involved as well, but um, it's, it's practical. It's you you're putting you're putting what you do on a daily basis. You're basically putting it in a theoretical um, form, as opposed to reading something that someone has published. You're actually the publisher. It gives you a perspective of looking at yourself and trying to analyze what you do on a day-to-day basis and improve mm -hmm. so you can s clearly see where you have been lacking what your deficiencies like and it m gives you um, drive to improve in you know where you find yourself lacking off or and after each module is finished an assessment of the workers will be done to ascertain if the program is a success ryan broom cbc news Chief Executive Officer of CIBC First Caribbean, Rick Parkhill, believes the Barbados economy is turning around. And he's optimistic about the long-term prospect. Mr. Parkhill made the comment during an interview with the media. Well, I think they're starting to improve. Um, what we're seeing as a financial institution is that there's been a pickup in private sector investment. And there's a lot of, uh, or there's some, some evidence of projects that uh, have been on the shelf for, you know, the last three to five years that are getting dusted off. And um, I think the level of private sector investment as it ramps up is going to propel the Barbados economy. So, um, you know, I'm modestly optimistic uh, about this year and uh, certainly more optimistic uh, about the future than I have been um, over the last couple of years. Now for a look at selected stock exchanges from across the region.